In my last video, I talked about the things that I learned over 2022, and here are a few things about 2023 that I'm hopefully going to bring. First off, I was uh, growing in a Black Magic grow pill around six gallons and growing the uh, cucumbers I found out quickly that when the vines would spread I couldn't uh, quickly identify the ripe cucumbers. Some would hang off the side and some would hide under leaves and it would have been helpful to be able to maybe turn the container around or move it back and forth to get to the back and that would be helpful also for uh, doing maintenance. So here is what I found to help with that strategy. This is a uh, plant dolly, and it has the uh, wheels on the bottom of it, and that quickly allows to put this underneath, and I can pull it back and forth, as well as turn it. So uh, this is something that you might want to put under some of your larger containers, because uh, six gallons of nutrient water is a little on the heavy side for most people to move around. Second, I want to tell you about if you are growing indoors. If you find something that works well, expand on those ideas. For example, this is a six gallon grow bucket. And this is the second one that I've picked up. Uh, the uh, original company is called Black Magic, and now Scott's uh, has picked up the uh, brand. And I don't see very many of these around anymore, but uh, they are certainly worth my time. Some people complained about the uh, hoses that are inside the unit. And yeah, while that is a concern, you know, this uh, tubing that they've used, it is uh, simple to pick up uh, replacement tubing from local hardware stores. And the uh, grow sites are irrigated uh, with a single stream on the outside. And it's very similar to an air garden, very simple to use. And it allows me to grow uh, much larger plants than what I grow in my indoor gardens. Next, I want to tell you a little bit about nutrients because uh, this is a nutrient from a company called uh, Urban Leaf. And Urban Leaf produces this uh, nutrient. It's a single part uh, liquid. And I've been doing a lot of uh, growing with AeroGuard nutrients and also DynaGrow 936. Uh, the nutrient that I have right now I, I'm going to be testing with is a uh, 315 nutrient uh, solution. And we'll see whether or not this does a little bit better from what I've been using in the past. Also, uh, this unique little device looks like an extra large uh, net cup for hydroponics. But if you were to look at it this way, you would find out that it's actually being held upside down and it allows you to put this over a plant and it keeps the plant from falling over because some plants are not uh, as sturdy stemmed as others. Now, speaking of Liger Labs, there are other products that they produce and one of the ones that I've used at home already has been an adaptation on a mason jar that allows me to grow green onion tops. But these are going to be extremely helpful. Uh, as a matter of fact, what these will do is drop into a standard arrow garden and allow putting a green onion into those. And that will allow me to uh, grow my green onions in a larger unit. Now, what that will do for me is with a little bit of nutrient, it should extend the life of those green onion tops and it'll keep me in green onion tops for things like uh, soups and, and salads and other products on a longer basis. Uh, one other thing that uh, I'd like to talk about is in the past, I've used timers for lights. Now, with a lot of your uh, standard products for desktop gardens, the smaller ones, they've integrated that feature into those. However, if I have an external grow light, I would like to be able to do something that is a little bit simpler than mastering different units and different pin settings, you know, for start and stop times uh, for my lights. And, you know, if there's a power outage, uh, that's another consideration. So what I've come up with is a product from a company called CASA, or CASA, and I'll put links in my video for those products. But those allow me to use my phone to set the start and stop times. I put the CASA app as well as the Alexa app onto my phone and using 
echo that I could use for um, voice commands. So what I do is I set up a routine that has the start time, stop time, and the ability to um, perhaps be away on a trip and use my phone to maybe reduce the light schedule that would extend the um, ability of the available nutrients to go on for a little bit longer time while I'm away. So I'll show you those right now. And there you go. Uh, these are actually uh, Casa uh, smart plugs and I have uh, two different lights plugged in. I had to download the uh, Casa app and I found out that it uh, takes a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. And once you connect that, uh, it won't take an open network. You have to have a password to be able to connect these. And that's a protection against other people possibly getting into uh, your particular smart home products and taking over those. So it's a great idea. And if you have that type of technology, it's very simple to set these up. Here is one more thing that I'm doing for 2023. These are Microdorf tomatoes. Uh, in 2022, I grew Golden Harvest versions. And this is the Red Heirloom version. It's kind of a sister uh, Microdorf tomato plant that's available from Aerogarden. And uh, based off some information from another YouTube channel where they uh, prune their tomatoes, I am trying that for 2023. And what that entails is when your plants get to a size like this, they're typically very dense and they cover and extend over the arrow garden. And what I do is I come in and I go down to the stem. I cut off any of the limbs that do not have any blooms on those. And I also uh, cut off any of the uh, growth that is extending off of the unit that is not directly under the uh, light source. So that uh, is supposed to give me a greater harvest as well as an earlier harvest. And I'm already getting these uh, larger than normal uh, green tomatoes that are starting to form on the plant. And I was told by the uh, person who runs the other channel that expect the uh, plants to get filled in within about a week after doing this. And so this is something that I'm uh, eagerly looking to test for 2023. At last, uh, as we close this video, I would like to encourage you to uh, subscribe and like this video because I'd like to bring a lot more videos out to uh, bring more information for growers. 